Can sunlight reduce a human body to ash? If so, this is one sunburn that never goes away. All right, so it's based on some simple principles, right? We got, it looks like a giant parabolic mirror, right? That's right. Of course, the sun comes down from the sky yeah. into the bowl, gets sent back to this pod right here. Yeah. That fires across and down into the incinerating chain. Exactly. The original patent design is massive. So we scale it down, taking care not to compromise its basic function. After scavenging the materials, we begin assembly. Covering our parabolic surface with hundreds of little mirrors would be way too labor intensive. So I decided to use mirror back plexiglass. Flexible and easy to cut. Final assembly takes place out in the sun where a few finishing touches are added. That thing looks so hey. awesome as you're driving hey up, guys. Ed. We start off small. A kettle placed in the focal point reaches a boil in less than three minutes. Surface readings show us we're getting temperatures of over 300 degrees. Just like that, this is suddenly looking very promising. But can this bowl of mirrors actually generate the kind of heat needed to turn flesh and bone to ash? And whose flesh and bone for that matter? Along with the viewing area we've had built for relatives, it's time to introduce the dearly departed. You our, are sick. <laughs> our mini meat man, right? He's got hamburger head, we've got steak chest, we've got uh, chicken thigh legs, we've got uh, bones around, and we've even got little hearts, little intestines, everything you could want. So basically all the dead guy food groups are represented here. After placing the coffin inside our ventilated metal box, it's time to say our final goodbyes. Why? <laughs> we got smoke happening. That's under 30 seconds, we're at 250 on the bottom. The sight of smoke is promising, but the metal container makes it hard to see exactly what's cooking in our little coffin. In any case, to be considered a success, we'll have to reduce our mini man to ash in a few short hours. Though we may give it a little leeway time-wise for being so eco-friendly. We haven't touched wood, we haven't touched any natural gas, nothing. It's the moment of truth. Did our solar crematorium actually work? Ooh. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Nice job. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Bottom line is, this is nice ash. I mean, That's I'd be true. comfortable filling a baggie with that and saying, there is granny, Aunt sure. Sue. By all appearances, our mini man has just made environmental history. Imagine the application in North America where we burn through so many fossil fuels every day. If we could shave some of those off by using a, a device like this that harnesses the sun, why not? What do you think, man? Patent approved or patent denied? Oh, I'd say... Patent way approved. Patent way approved. Man. Back it, in man. the shop.